Welcome to Huacachina, a real desert oasis located in Peru. Why did I not put that? What goes on? <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. We are currently in a place called Huacachina and this is like an oasis in the middle of the desert next to a city called Ica in Peru. We arrived here yesterday. We had such a long journey. We were supposed to take a bus from Cusco that took or it was supposed to take 18 hours but because there were some problems with the road the journey ended up taking 24 hours and I can tell you guys 24 hours sitting in a bus non-stop is a long time. I truly at some point felt like that bus ride was never gonna end. Finally we did arrive to Huacachina and so far honestly yesterday we didn't do anything and today we've been quickly to a shopping mall to get out some cash and buy some small little things that we needed and we had some ice cream and stuff and yeah we're currently staying in a hostel called the Upcycle Hostel or Upcycled Hostel. I'll write the name here and it's a really nice hostel. It's actually a little bit outside of the Huacachina like town or like the main area it's like a one kilometer walk from here but this was much much more cheaper than the recommendation right in Huacachina and a one kilometer walk is like basically nothing and it's really nice we have a private room and there's a swimming pool there's a restaurant slash bar there's this really nice like hangout areas and stuff and it's nice and colorful and yeah I'm really really liking this hostel so far today's plan now is to honestly just take it easy because yeah we're quite tired after that 24 hour bus ride and also so before this we were in Cusco and in Cusco went to Machu Picchu and the Amazon rainforest and the rainbow mountains and we did so much constantly that now we feel like we just need to relax for a bit. We chose this hostel with a nice pool for a reason. Time to get in the pool, finally. That wasn't the aesthetic shot I thought I would get. We are now heading into the, I don't know what you call it, the city center or the main spot of the oasis. Well, we're heading in there. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet. And we're also going to go out for some dinner. It's really, really beautiful here. Really nice and calm, a nice atmosphere. We've now come to a nice looking dinner spot and we're right by the water, so that's very nice. I ordered some mushroom skewers and Rule ordered some chicken, so let's hope the food is good. Good morning, it is another beautiful day in Huacachina and what a beautiful view to wake up to. And firstly, it is time for breakfast and luckily that is included in our hostel stay. So for breakfast you get some scrambled eggs and bread. And then you get to choose if you want a tea or coffee. You get some butter and jam and some fresh juice. And you get to sit here right by the pool.
really feel like we've been able to relax now for the last couple of days but now it is finally time for some action we booked a sand buggy and sandboarding tour with a company called Rishi Tour Ika. The duration was two hours and the cost was 60 solas per person. I couldn't find my sunglasses so they borrowed me some ski glasses. I look so stupid but oh well, at least I'll be comfortable. Here we go! climbed on top of a viewpoint and from here you can see all of Huacachina from above. Why not? It's a perfect spot for photos. We're now gonna sandboard down this dune. It doesn't look very steep on camera, but it's steep and you have to go face first. It just feels very unnatural to have to do that. Okay, there's a girl going now. I'll show you what it looks like. I find it a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> Can I sit? Or is it more scary to sit? No. If you, if you take it up, yeah. you have balance. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Back a little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. I'm not sure if I should attempt to do this other hill with my face first. Somehow I find it much more scary, but everyone else said it was less scary. I don't know, maybe I should try. Maybe I'll put this on, I don't get all the sand in my face. Okay, I hope I don't die from this. Okay, no turning back now. Oh, yo, 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 I did it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> It's like the pushing yourself off the edge is the scary part, you know? And now I arrived to a slope that's like at least double or even triple the size of the first ones. Much steeper. <sighs> I'm scared. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh. Why did I not put that? Go, go, go. Wait, you might be thinking, Janika, is this truly safe? Well, I'm afraid I can't guarantee that. But that's why I make sure to have a good travel medical insurance, which I recommend everyone to have. Personally, I use Safety Wing with the Adventure Sports add-on, which gives me the peace of mind knowing that even if something would happen, I know that I'm covered. Before this trip, when I was comparing different travel medical insurances, I found Safety Wing to be one of the more affordable options which for a budget backpacker like me is great and one of the big reasons why I chose it. If you'd like to read more about it, you can scan this QR code here or you can find the link in my description box to check out the Nomad insurance. I can't believe I came down there. Okay, on this camera, because it's fisheye, it looks not bad at all, but it was really bad.
now come to a spot to watch the sunset and it's really really beautiful proper desert sunset people are sitting and chilling here some people have beers and stuff it's a it's a nice atmosphere and I look a bit crazy I swear there's sand everywhere We are now on our way back to the hostel, but the tour was really, really fun. I really enjoyed it. It was definitely a thrill, both the driving and the sandboarding. And we just had some dinner with a guy from Ireland that we met on the tour and the food was really good. It was this Italian restaurant. I must say, I can't wait to take a shower. I am covered in sand and the sand is like super small and fine. So you can't get it off even if you try to like brush it off. You really need to take a shower. Looking forward to that.